So I'm honored to have this opportunity to share my perspectives on promoting clean air by focusing on worker and public protection. So our mission at NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, is to develop new knowledge in the field of occupational safety and health and to transfer that knowledge into practice. We believe every human being deserves safe and healthy clean air, and we are making incremental changes across workplaces as well as the public to realize this vision. Strategies for providing respiratory protection for the public and for workers without formal respiratory protection programs build on over 50 years of NIOSH occupational experience. I would like to offer insights into three areas NIOSH is emphasizing to move toward every worker and every member of the public having safe and healthy clean air. That's education, collaboration, and innovation. So using education, collaboration, and innovation, we can protect workers who fall under occupational respiratory protection programs, such as OSHA, workers who are outside of those programs, as well as the public, including children and vulnerable communities. First, through education, we must make safety and health everyone's responsibility. People need to know how to protect themselves when the air is not clean. Every minute in the United States, a young person between ages 15 and 25 is injured on the job, adding up to over 2.8 million adolescents and young adults injured at work over the past six years. It's not enough to have standards and guidelines. Standards and guidelines need to be understood at every level, not just through enforcement. Educating the workforce and the general public as early as possible about the value of living a safety culture and caring for the safety and health of yourself, your employees, and your family will lead to productivity, efficiency, and better health throughout your life. Um, first of all, on this slide, I have a couple of our resources. This is just an example. We have many resources that people can use to educate themselves and others on our website, and that link on the bottom left is our website. So educating our youth is the beginning through NIOSH educational programs, such as the NIOSH Safe Skilled Ready Workforce Program. We are working starting at the middle school level to have every person in the country before they join the US workforce for the first time or start a new job to have the foundational knowledge, skills and abilities they need to stay safe and healthy at work and contribute to a positive safety culture in the workplace. The programs are customized for each state and several US territories and also are available in Spanish. Some programs have been modified and adopted internationally as well. These curricula can be adapted and translated to every language through partnerships with any nation. And this is our first step in providing every worker a safe and healthy environment. Our vision is to have these programs in every state, in our country and across the globe. Collaboration with industry, labor, and other governmental and non-governmental organizations is a second area of emphasis. Successful partnerships with industry are important, both during routine work and emergency response operations, especially as the nature of work is changing more rapidly than ever before, and the public could benefit from respiratory protection during wildfire smoke events, mold from floods, or infectious disease outbreaks, to name some examples. And finally, the third area of emphasis involves fostering a positive safety culture through innovative innovation in every industry sector for adults and children in the public on every continent across every company, large and small. As Alcoa Corporation's safety leader, Paul O'Neill emphasized, safety is not a priority. It is a precondition for organizational behavior. Individuals should not have to think about safety and health. These topics should be second nature. We have partnered with industry, labor, and professional societies to document best practices and safety culture and to improve health and safety standards associated with respiratory protection when the air is not clean and workers and the public must protect themselves. 
These guidelines and standards will continue to evolve as the nature of work continues to transform with each technological innovation in the globalization of the economy. In closing, in a rapidly changing world of constrained public resources, the power in creativity fostered by emphasizing global collaboration can and should be deployed for the public good and working together on education, collaboration and innovation um, through positive health and safety culture solutions and clean air, we can be successful in protecting the people who are exposed to unclean air hazards every single day. Thank you for having me today. <laughs>